absolutely. Um, I love going to fight weeks. It's always fun. I mean, I'm still fight camp, so I still got to watch when I'm leaving for the most part. But um, yeah, I know it's amazing traveling. Like I said, martial arts has changed my life. I get to travel all the world, so definitely living the dream. So what sort of training routine do you do on a trip like this? How do you keep it? Uh, well, I actually have a teammate, Loma, who's yeah, fighting here in right. Singapore, yeah, yeah, yeah. so I'm training in Thailand, so uh, we get to train my coach, George Hickman's here, so uh, we've been just training yeah. all week long. I help her, and you know, he's doing yeah. this for me, so uh, that's that's pretty much it. Because no, normally, if I'm in fight camp, I don't really like going out to uh, traveling too much, and I like to focus on my training, but in this case, I'm able to do both, so. It's great. What can you tell us about Lona's progression from my time through the MMA? You must have watched it. Oh man, she's a, she's amazing. She's definitely probably the strongest person I've ever met when it came to the clinch game. You know, so she looks a little bit small for the straw wave division, but she's really strong. So I'm really excited for her. Um, she picks up really fast. Mm -hmm. So even though she knows she has her Muay Thai base, Muay Thai base and she's like fought, I don't know how many, like maybe hundreds of Muay Thai yeah. matches or something. But uh, she's she's great. She's picking up on the the ground game. Like she's really strong. So I'm really really excited for this fight. What strength? I mean, obviously her stand up and her elbows and stuff are going to be nice to watch on <laughs> Saturday night. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I cannot wait. You know, so she's teaching me some stuff. I'm teaching her some stuff. But it's been great. You know, she's definitely sweet me off my feet a lot of times. So, right. Yeah. That's coming along okay then. <laughs> yeah, no, it's great. Uh, it's going hand in hand. You know, we help each other out a ton. And how's the feeling at the, the gym there? It comes along in leaps and bounds down. Uh, I mean, Tiger Muay Thai obviously is one of the most popular gyms around, and um, it's getting bigger and bigger. And, uh, I mean, honestly, Phuket there, where the location, it's like a tiger, or like a, a fighter's paradise. You know, you go out there, you live on the island, you can have coconuts, it's cheap food, <laughs> train all day, sleep, get cheap massages. You can't be but Muay Thai massages. I mean, the best out there. They're like. $10. <laughs> so in the U.S., you pay like 60, 80 bucks for a time, of the, you know, for a time massage, and they're not even as good. So yeah. it's like here, yeah, you can get like 10 of them for that price. Does it feel like kind of a golden age for Tiger right now with all the different champions from different promotions coming through? Yeah, no, for sure. It's it's been amazing. You get fighters from all over the world that go there, and um, you know, I feel like. Every gym has their waves of when it's their time, and I definitely think Tiger is one of the spots there. They just opened a brand new location this year uh, in February, and you know it's just expanding. More and more fighters are going there, so it's been it's been amazing, you know. So I know that since I've gotten a lot, I've had a lot of people messaging me, be like, "Hey, I want to go. What's right. going on?" So. So how do you feel about your change of opponent in Rodriguez in December? Um, you know, honestly, I think it's just going to be just a tough fight. Um, you know, she is ranked, I think, at number 9 on number 10. Uh, Claudia, she's definitely one of the most seasoned veterans, and I was expecting to fight. I was really, really looking forward to uh, fighting her, but I also know Marina's a very dangerous fighter. She's 12-0, and 0, so it's going to be nice and Cheta, you know. Get that O, you know that O must go, and I'm gonna give it to her. So I'm I'm really excited about that. You know I've been training really hard, and I know her her style is uh, Thai, you know based. So um, more more, I'm at the perfect place to be training. All right, uh, Tiger Muay Thai. So uh, it, it's a it's a great matchup. I'm looking forward to it. It's definitely not an easy fight, but that's the way I like it. When did you first come to know about Claudia not being able to come? Uh, actually, I just found out yesterday. So right when I woke up in the morning and I seen her post and I seen people tagging me and I seen you know that she was gonna be able to fight. So you know I hope speedy recovery for her. I know she she's she's a beast. She's never one to turn down fights by any means. And um, I was really looking forward to fighting her just because she's always been a top fighter fight. You know she's always been really close to even getting fighting for that world title and. Um, it would have meant a lot to me to be able to fight her, so hopefully in the future I'm able to fight her. Uh, I wish her the best. I know she's recovering from all her injuries. I myself know injuries, you know, suck. I, I was supposed to fight in Sacramento earlier in July. I fractured my foot, so, you know, I know how that goes. So, um, you know, speedy recovery, and hopefully in the future I get to fight her. So in just one day you have to give your call and you have to fight with Marina? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, whoever was going to be in the top ten, nobody else was available. She was the only one that was available and willing to take the fight. 
Um, I know there was other fighters that were uh, asked to be for the fight, and they said no. So it is what it is, you know. I'll, I'll take who uh, they give me, and luckily for me, she's still in the top ten. So, and her being undefeated, I think it'll still show, you know, where I stand, and you know that I'm definitely a top contender. Was that the first name that was given to first and only name? For the uh, you know. Uh, not really at that at that point. Honestly, when, uh, my manager Danny did a really good job, so they were just going back and forth. As soon as the, the fight pulled out, they were like looking for for somebody to take the fight right away. So, um, you know, big thanks to Marina Rodriguez. She stepped up and was able to take the fight. Uh, I know a couple other names, but uh, I'm not going to mention them. Whatever they know who they are, they didn't want to take the fight, so it's all right. <laughs> what has the biggest difference been uh, from training in Sacramento and coming to Um, you know, it's just it's just a. It's always good to just just change it up a little bit. So for me, um, I think uh, I had my time, you know, there at Team Alpha Male. I was super grateful for the training that I got there. I got to learn a lot, and um, definitely a big part of what my UFC career was uh, is. And, and so uh, I just think with with Thailand, it's it's a breath of a new breath, fresh, fresh of air, and, and you know, get to train with another a lot of other high level training partners, and I'm super thankful for that. And so. Um, that's why I love martial arts, that you're always able to find new places, you know, you, there's n never, in, you know, you can never learn enough. You always, there's always something to learn, and so um, I'm extremely grateful to be able to make that transition over to Tiger from Team Alpha. What do you think of the division on the whole at the moment? Um, I think it's a, I think it's amazing, man. We got uh, Wei Li, she is a super badass, I'm a big fan, but of course I would love to fight, I would love to fight everybody. So, um, but, but it's great, you know, obviously she, she just had her, she barely won the belt and, um, you know, she's still yet to make her first defense, but no doubt that, you know, she's definitely one of the best, if not, you know, the best in the division right now is Charlie, but uh, I, I still think Joanna Yandechek for sure, um, to me in my eyes, is is, is the, the most dominant thing for me. It would be mean more to me to actually fight Joanna Yandechek because she was the most dominant strawweight fighter, strawweight champion, you know, she defended her belt multiple times, so um, to be able to fight her and get a win over her would be a lot more. But um, I think I think it's great. I think the shakeup uh, on the division has been great because for for quite some time, I think for like the first couple years, it was always the same fighters in the top ten. You know, and not a lot of them have been moved out, and new 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 blood has come through. So so I'm excited. I'm excited to fight all of them, and, and you know, whoever I can get to get to the top. In every fighter's career, there comes a point where it just feels like they've learned everything that they had to in one camp, and then just have to shift. To another camp. Was that the situation with you and the team? Um, yeah, I think so. I think that there was just a lot of changes and stuff, and and I think it was just time for me to move on. Um, I think that every fighter sometimes they have to make those changes. Of course, I I would love to have all my original coaches that can take me because I'm a very loyal person, and um, you know whoever starts with me, I, I want them to end up at the top with me. So. Um, it, you know, it is what it is. I think that the team went through a lot of changes in itself, and it was just time for me to move on. You have a Teruto in Sacramento? Uh, what? Teruto Ishihara. Teruto. Oh, Teruto Ishihara. Yeah. And oh, yeah. Yeah. You, you are having the, in uh, Tetsuya Yamada in the Taiga Muay Thai. Yeah. And the, both of the Japanese are completely difficult personal. But, uh, how do you think about the, both of the Japanese as a teammate? Oh, dude, it's been great. Honestly, uh, Teruto Ishihara, he's, he's, he's one of my favorite people, as you guys can see if you ever follow his Instagram. Crazy. He is crazy, but he's such great energy, you know? He loves the cooking party, so every time, you know, I'm fighting, he's always, like, messaging me. He's like, Cynthia, after five, big cookie party. And I'm like, yeah, you know it. So, um, no, uh, it, it's been great. I mean, I, I, like I said, that's what I love about martial arts. There's so many, you know, I feel like it, and martial arts is a universal language. It doesn't matter where you go in the world. You all understand each other, you know, with martial arts. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, no, it's, it's, it's awesome. I, I, I love being able to meet so many different people. I've made so many friends now, and so uh, it's been great. I, I think it's, it's, it's a good mix. All right, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, You're beginning in the UFC, obviously. You steamroll through your initial opponents. The past few fights have been a little closer, um, and they say with a loss you learn more. 
then when you went, was that also a similar with you? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, of course for me, I'm, I'm grateful. I mean, the only one loss that I do have is against the first World Invicta champion, the first strawweight champ, Carla Esparza. So she's no easy fight for anyone. Um, I think if there is going to be a loss and a lesson to learn, I'm glad that it happened at that point in my career. I feel like it wasn't one of those fights where she beat me up. It was one of those fights where I didn't make the adjustments and I lost that fight to myself. So, um, you know, I'm 8-1. I only got that one loss. And, you know, I still have plenty to prove. But a lot of people forgot what I'm about. It's my The last few years have been kind of slow for me because I had to deal with a couple things, you know, injuries and other things. But, um, you know, I'm ready to get back there and really prove to the world where I belong. And that's, you know, top five. And then hopefully get to that title shot sometime next year. Right. And just because we have to wrap up because we need to do face-offs at 2.30. Thank you. 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 Thank you.